uh, the first one, they had lost 5-0 yeah, to exactly. Vision FC. Well, that is the coach of uh, the Ajax Queens, and uh, trust me, he needs this win to qualify for the next round. And of course, for the side that comes all the way from uh, Patch, they'll be led by jersey number 10 on your screen, uh, Chen Dolika, who's basically their top scorer. And they'll be trying very much to see if they can actually get out of uh, this race with their heads high. They've already been eliminated. Uh, there is no way they can actually retain a place in uh, this round. Yeah, they are playing for respect. Uh, coach uh, makes some changes, uh, puts Teddy on the bench. I think she will come in to change everything if at all it uh, doesn't go as anticipated. But for Ajax Queens, Namwenge, shot number nine, uh, will be one uh, to help them. Uh, of course, attack. Uh, that is Bernadette. She's attacking from uh, the left side. Apparently holds up play a lot and helps bring in other players up front. So you think uh, the coach tactically uh, did uh, deploy her today on the left side uh, to try maneuver through and try the uh, three points they badly need to go through. You believe they can if they are to take their chances against St. Peter's who have conceded so many goals so far. Just waiting for the nine o'clock uh, mark to actually get this game underway that begins at exactly 9 a.m. in the morning. Center referee just waiting for her clock to clock nine. And then of course we shall be able to uh, kickstart this final match in group C you know, so group D will be coming in a little bit later that is uh, possibly they'll be arriving tomorrow the group D side very interesting group it will be but we also have encounters of uh, the Uganda Cup uh, so it will be between uh, the FUFA Women Elite League FUEL like the abbreviation says and apparently Uganda Cup uh, Tuesday is Villa Vipers it's such a thrilling encounter we have one between Wakesa and Police uh, definitely you don't talk about KCC and Express and apparently you have to talk about a bull uh, against a pro line if uh, they manage to go through so we have that and uh, next week coming at UBC TV. There we go we are definitely your here tonight it's 9 a.m. in the morning and it's a battle between uh, the Ajax Queens that comes all the way from uh, uh, that is uh, Bulenga. Bulenga up against uh, St. Peter's a team that comes all the way from a patch and uh, just waiting to see if we can actually get a sweet result here for maybe the side from uh, a patch if they can handle quick chess away to the goalkeeper Auma Rebecca it's Auma. Yeah, she had a bad day at office, more so considering the first goal that was a low shot and apparently today she needs to improve if she's not to consider as many as they did in their last outing. Throw here to the Ajax Queens and to be Nanyonjo Sharon, shot number two there. Sends it very long and away it is. Repossessed at the midfield by Namakula. Bonyo trying to clear that ball away. Sharon Nanyonjo. The ball forward now. The chess one is Nachanzi Caroline. Fortunately for Nachanzi, she just can't keep the ball on play. She's tried very much to get herself on the score sheet, Nachanzi, but uh, she's not yet. She's a very good uh, striker there, but it's a goal kick. Away by Abonyo, but not very okay. It's a bouncing ball here to Namwenge. Referee says that she did foul in the process. It will be Free kick here for the ladies all the way from Apach. Apach district. Ladies currently representing here. Namwenge. Looking for Nalubega. Nauma has to come out very quickly. That's what she does always. Falls on the ball and rolls. That's her tactic. Yeah, and sometimes she falls to uh, get it firmly in her hands. That's where our problems arise from. Uh, they have scored rebounders against her, some rebounds, sorry, against her. She needs to be very, very alert. Always astute in the first half and normally loses it when it comes to the second half. Now here comes a chance for the run through. That's very good movement, but unfortunately stolen away. Well, the ladies of Apache are currently coming into this game slightly stronger. Nachanzi, leg on that one. Good control here from Rodali uh, Rona and Kuzi. It's a bouncing ball here and a chance he misses out on control. Sandra Bonio loses out to Nachanzi. But uh, Angom coming out to close onto that gap and just goes away for a goal kick here to St. Peter's. That's uh, Andrew Setuba, the coach of uh, the Ajax Queens here, currently 
The one in charge of the team. Yeah, he's an assistant coach. His head coach opted to mark exams. Oh. Yeah, and left him in charge. Apparently, that's why they had issues with the first game against Amoria, losing 3 2. They came back in the second game. That was against a vision, and apparently uh, now against St. Peter's, they have uh, to uh, pull up their soakings and try to get things right here to put Caroline in the lead and try to get uh, the three points because if they don't, it will be too bad for them before the next match. Still in the way at the midfield by Akau. Sent forward and swept away there by Nasali. Chanzi doing well, Abonyo doing better. This is not Chanzi. Again, Abonyo standing very tall at the back there. What play, good play from Nanyonjo. Away by Namakula. Trying to drop that ball forward, Namakula here. Lay that ball forward now, looking for more possession here. Yeah, some good composition coming in from St. Peter's in the midfield. Uh, they normally give you hope that they can go all the way throughout the 90 minutes. That is Douglas Ogwal for you on your screen. Head coach uh, for St. Peter's. Of course, you'll have a lot of lessons to pick uh, from these games. The mistakes, the gaps they left that inflicted on them a heavy beating against Amoria. The first one conceding five and not answering. So probably can amend those mistakes and try uh, to get something in this game before they part the tournament and go home. Patricia trying to lay that ball forward but uh, very poor from uh, Patricia. Student of uh, Gulu University there in her first year, Patricia. It's actually been uh, blessed to be in the ranks of uh, Ugandan football from uh, the under 17 levels to where she is right now. Collected at the back, swept away by uh, Sharumat. Bonyo goes for safety. That will be a throw in now. It's a throw coming up here to Ajax Queens will be trying very much if they can mega, mega, mega. square goal very early in this long throw. Pua. According to the center referee Nanyonjo Sharon actually does not know how to throw that ball and she has to improve on that department of throw Nanyonjo. Away by Alum. Bouncing over Nanyonjo. Away by Achola. Now here comes a chance. Nasali Juanita in trouble. And she redeems herself by playing extremely very well there to put that ball outside for a throw in here. It's good movement and good pressure coming in from uh, the captain. Acheng Dolika. Yeah, Acheng Dolika is such a mobile and versatile player. She gives them rhythm up front and apparently her partnership with Teddy uh, paid off during the last games. Uh, produced for them the only goal they have in the tournament. But you don't know why the court decided uh, to rest Teddy. Could be injury problems. But apparently probably he has a better game approach in this one. And that is all not to concede as many as he did in the past two matches up front uh, for St. Peter's Football Club. I do have a Kulu Rebecca on the starting line up here, but also not on my sheet. That is a most interesting thing. That's a problem we've actually been having almost all season when it comes down to the women league. Yeah, I think Otai, uh, the conditions they are playing in, is sometimes uh, there are late changes uh, before the game kick starts. I believe since they are playing on an artificial turf, it's something they are not used to. The changes are imminent, and apparently we could pardon them uh, for that. Free kick. Well, free kick here, so let's wait and see how far she will be driving up. A free kick for St. Peter's. She goes long. Straight away to the goalkeeper, Nakayondo Pamela. Yeah, Nakayondo Pamela has been tremendous for Ajax Queens. She's become their savior, mother, sister, daughter, always coming to duty when called upon. And apparently saving them blushes at the backfield, covering up uh, the defense so well. 
and communicating in the best way. Namwenge conducting the ball through but failing to control that ball. Namwenge, it's going to be a throw in here to St. Peter's. And it will be brought in quickly by Aol Naome. Looking to deliver this one very quickly, Aol. Bouncing ball forward. Well, this was the, the earlier chance. You can see the collision over there. Again, being very, very physical. Nice steal there from Nachanzi Nasali, rather. But uh, fouls in the process. She has to go back to defend Nasali. Away by Ango. Kulu. Head away there by N Namugirwa. And the referee does award a free kick now to the Ajax Queens. Well, the Ajax Queens will continue to probe and probe and uh, see if they can actually get something moving on here. Solid performance for both sides so far. I'll see a game that can actually drive up anywhere. Ajax uh, try to go long looking for Caroline. Oh, mistake by goalkeeper. But again, Shamans, the mistake gets the rebound off the striker. Apparently, it would be so bad conceding just after nine minutes. But well, it was a second time luck that saved the, the Ajax still attacking. But nobody follows up the ball. And again, keeper is all alone but has problems handling the ball. First time. Clarence from Auma, not very good. Should be in trouble because there's an attack here. Oh, yeah. Currently, Nalubega. Our front, Mwenge fouling. She's offside there, Namwenge. Yeah, not very happy. Offside for me. She made that pass and apparently drove through up front through the defenders. By the time the ball was released back to her, it was a little too late. Uh, but there is some consistency in the way Ajax Queens are playing. You think it is just about time that they would get a so badly needed goal. Nasali clearing. Collected at the midfield, Kulu. Driving forward now, looking for Unjia. At the midfield position, the fight is on. Collision again, cleared away. Good play there from Nanyonjo. Oh, they are fighting. Another sweeping ball away. The ladies all the way from Apache are doing a lot of sweeping. Failing to keep that ball down. Away by Nakayondo. Another big ball for this could be trouble. This is Namwenge. And giving away very cheaply. Nalubega dropping through over the bar. Yeah, good try. It had a lot of energy on it. And apparently went above. Good try. Just picking it up from the opponents and trying to check the keeper. But apparently we didn't find out if the keeper was already in the game. Because the ball was way above the bars, short of target, are registered for Ajax Queens. The league on the chess. Nasali on the steal. Throw coming up here for St. Peter's. That's the bench over St. Peter's there. You can actually see Teddy sitting on the bench waiting for her time to come in later on. And not beginning today's game, Teddy. Some bit of uh, changes being made by the coach of the day here. A joke Teddy missing. By the way, if you look at uh, St. Peter's, they do only have four substitutes. That's uh, Akulu Grace, Akulu Vicky, Amule Jessica and Ajok Teddy yeah, are the only players on the bench. I think it was uh, the uh, requisitions for the tournament. They were asked to bring only 16 players and if you wanted more, then you had to reduce on the number of officials. And apparently, uh, when they have only four, it is understandable. Pamela, she gets this family, and Ajax Queens have still uh, failed to get the ball behind the back of the net. Okay, that's not Pamela. St. Peter's goalkeeper, Alum. Collected by Angum Nancy. Oh, that is uh, the official from uh, Ajax Queens watching the game very well here, trying to keep his thoughts on to this but looks like there'll be a 
stoppage of play because there is another ball on the pitch surprisingly the ball boy not doing his job <laughs> <laughs> Ball boy has a vest which is almost like a dress, but as long as he does his job, that should be secondary. Reminding you, this is the last game for both teams in the group. Ajax Queens have a chance to qualify for St. Peter's. It is almost done, having lost oh, two games. There's a gamble here, again over the bar there from Namwenge. Trying very much to utilize the miscommunication at the set of the defense there from uh, St. Peter's, Namwenge. A lot of communication coming in from the coach of Wales there, making sure that uh, the ladies do play. Nachanzi, one, two there. Nachanzi again will be beating through the cross now. This could be a chance again. Run through. Nalubega, side netting. A good try from Nalubega. Margaret, she did score the goal against Vision in their second game, apparently that gave them hope uh, to come back after their loss in the first game 3-2 against Amoria. So Naluvega, a midfielder, sometimes finds time to go up front and use her muscles very well, trying to shoot. Just look at her go. Well, the goalkeeper there, Auma Rebecca, had that covered, but again, very good run through. Good skills. Good game reading there from the goalkeeper. Nice play. Who actually that was uh, Nalunkuma Matha. Surprisingly. Yeah. The versatile Nalunkuma. She always has and registers the biggest work rate on the pitch uh, for uh, Ajax Queen since day one. Well, Matha brought down. So, free kick now here to St. Peter's. Long from Patricia Kiror. Straight away to the goalkeeper. Ooh. <laughs> well, there you go, Auma. Her yeah. tactic of goalkeeping is a little bit wanting, wanting, but yeah. uh, not not actually wanting. But yeah. to some extent, when you keep on falling for the ball like that, there is a time where you'll miss it and not get it. Yeah, and not get it. That's how she. Considered. Oh, you may fall down and it gets off your hands. That's how she considered the first goal against Amoria, if you remember. She got it when it was already inside the net. She fell and missed the ball. Well, I like the way she actually has, she's enjoying her football really. <laughs> Whenever she's in goal, you can see her jump up and down, commanding. Auma, totally enjoying her game. That's the most important thing. Enjoy your football. Flick on. Foul here for St. Peter's. Well, basically, if you followed the league very, very well, you realize that uh, we have uh, well distribution when it comes down to women football. Unfortunately, not had a team from... Uh, West Nile representing, I think that's where there is a miss miss. But now we have a team from Apache here playing against a team from Bulenga. Here comes a chance now. Could be a chance for St. Peter's and they score. The captain scores again. A Dolika. It is two goals in two matches for Chong Dolika. The celebration says it all. Yes, they could be weak. But trying and registering those goals is something to go back home with. Whoa! Cheng Dolika could earn them the first three points if they consistently attack. But a poor, poor, poor defending coming in from Ajax Queens. You don't give such a pacey and intelligent player space to try hurt you because she will and she has done that. Well, this is the goal as it came through. All brought in a Cheng Dolika all alone. Good strike. Look at how they celebrate. Look at the excitement they have. Super strike. And good communication between her and Akulo because one of them should have gone for that ball, but Akulo decided to haste it. And Achenga, who had a better shooting position, took it. Problems piling for Ajax Queens. Akiroar. Very good yeah. squeeze of the game. Very good yeah. squeeze. The way St. Peter's is playing the game right now. They're not giving Ajax Queens any space. And Alum Paul, he was the one who was called to the rescue. Nachanzi running through goalkeeper. She goes down again. Oma Rebecca. She's a problem with that leg. She's been holding that leg all the time. Away by Auma. 
Dolika. She fouls and will be a free kick now to the Ajax Queens. Just reminding you that uh, for the Ajax Queens, they are still in this, but for St. Peter's, they've already lost two games, so you can say naturally they're already out of the competition. Yeah. Considered very many, 13 goals. Yeah, 13 goals. They could have a chance if they manage to thump Ajax with many goals. Oh. And apparently they pray that Amuria thumps vision with also a great goal difference. That means that they will all be on three points and then the team with the better goal difference will join Amuria to the quarterfinals. Somebody is worried. Welcome to the Elite League, Mr. Coach. Away by Nanyonjo. This is Duli. Throw here. It's Q. Chess on looking for Akulu. Nice play there from Nachanzi. Swept away. Looking for a cow. So this goes away for. Another throw in. Oh, someone has a problem with the microphone there. <laughs> I think the ball hit it. Long throw. Well, Ajax Queens have always had problems at the back. That is why the coach has always gone for tactical reshuffle. Among them, between Namgera Doreen, his captain, and Nasali Chanita plus Nanyonjo Sharon who operates on the right and uh, Akirol Patricia was playing centre back in their last game that is why probably well actually her favourite position is uh, left back left back but she was handling both a centre back and yeah. left back in their last game that's why they managed to get some momentum and breathing space at Throw. the back side okay Aul Naume that's going to be another throw in here now for the ladies all the way from Apache as they continue piling the pressure on the Bulenga ladies here. Well, by the way, just remind you, it comes down to Ugandan football. There's a lot of history when it comes down to the game itself. We do have, as Uganda, we do have the first female center referee in Sekafa region. First female. That is Katrina Dipo. She's actually there standing at the entry. Uh, unfortunately, the picture had changed, but... Uh, that's the beauty of uh, female football or women football in Uganda. I think she deserves that. She's worked so hard and has always been an example to the young ones when it comes to officiating. And apparently, you think she's a living example and so many uh, should follow suit if Uganda yeah. is to progress she, and develop at a fast rate. She's been in the circles of football for a long time, been the captain of the volleyball team. That's how she actually hey. began. Her career, she was a captain of the national volleyball team, then changed to football and against tutor at Makere. And now currently at Chambogo University in the sports science department there as a lecturer and also a CAF FIFA football instructor. Well, that's uh, the game of football in Uganda. We need to train more administrators in the game there. Good play there from Aul Naume, but unfortunately it goes away for a throw-in. We had a scoreboard reading of 1-1 one -one in their last game during first half for St. Peter's and Amoria. But when second half happened, Amoria opened up and gave up on their game. That is how they considered 8-1 after 90 minutes during that game. Here they come again, St. Peter's. Unfortunately, they can't keep the ball on play. We are throw here to the Ajax Queens now. It's a very much open-ended game here, totally open-ended. Ajax still in this match can actually still come back in this one. And uh, Patricia Akiror looking to go long. Patricia. Like push there from Dolika. The goal actually stolen away. Will be another free kick now to who? And the referee says it will be a free kick to St. Peter's, and there will be a yellow card there to Namwenge. 
a little yeah, bit frustrated, yeah. Namwenge, really. She's frustrated, uh, making the frustration get over her head. Free kick, St. Peter's, away from Aponyo. Possess here, they look very dangerous when they are coming forward. Kapira, Kapira, Kulu, Akiror, Foul. The Ajax Queen's coach is not happy with the way the team is approaching the game. Apparently, he needs them to get the ball first other than chasing it, but that's a confirmation of Namwenge's yellow card. Namwenge with the ball. Namwenge into the box line now. Goalkeeper comes out a loom. So Rahuma rather and falls on that ball perfectly well. Keep away, keep away. must have taken a knock. Yeah, I think she there was, was struggling. She's been struggling really. There was contact between her and the striker. Yeah, it's all about the tactic of goalkeeping. When you keep on falling onto the ball like that, you're bound to be picking up a lot of injuries. And uh, she's now feeling the aftermath of that kind of uh, goalkeeping skill. Well, her knee has actually been a problem, really. And here we go. So she falls on the ball. You keep on falling like that, you're bound to pick up an injury. Well, goalkeeper Auma Breka still receiving medical attention. And now it's a uh, time for the coach to instill some bit of uh, ball sense into the footballers here. Well, very important, by the way, to make you hear what the coach is saying. That's the reason that's why we decided to go quiet on that. <laughs> yeah, so that you could hear properly the instructions being issued. <laughs> Rebecca Uma seems to be okay to continue this match. Game will continue. Auma seems to be very much okay to continue with this. 25 minutes play, 20 to go. And Auma decides also to put it out forward, throw in here and put uh, pressure on herself yet again to see if she can keep oh, the goal clean here for St. Peter's. Throw in. Well, for the members of parliament who are coming in and out, most especially those who are coming in from a patch, I think for me it's a very, very clear indicator that uh, you can actually do more to improve not only women football in your district but also the game perfectly because if you have your your ladies actually playing on the national TV, yeah. then you actually know that someone is doing something down that side in a patch. Yeah, and you get more mileage. Apparently it's somehow a little bit easy to maintain these teams because uh, you just get and uh, partner with schools uh, get an understanding and apparently have them going to school it is very easy maintaining girls in a school because then you have to offer a few necessities and some of them even get scholarships because of the talent they possess so apparently we would urge all MPs coming in from different regions to try embark on a developmental role uh, when it comes to the women's team. It's free kick to St. Peter's, a couple of yards away. Actually, it's a ball for the Ajax Queens. Free kick here to Ajax Queens could be brought in here by Namwenge Benadette. She'll be looking to deliver this. She scored a couple of interesting goals from free kicks. That is uh, Namwenge scored again in Samuria from such a distance. She goes low. It's dropping but over. 
on a try to see if she can actually loop the goalkeeper this time and uh, the strategy was not that bad yeah St. Peter has conceded uh, from two corners uh, during their last game so they should work probably on their aerial prowess apparently and uh, minimize the fouls up front otherwise Ajax would use that to try come back into the game Anyonjo. Kulu free kick well, the coach of uh, St. Peter's actually gone with a five-man defense. And currently, you can see problems there for Kulu Rebecca. Could have also taken a slight knock, and uh, she's still perfectly well. Kulu. Well, these ladies have actually been playing a lot of football here yeah. at the Fufa Technical Center. They only got a rest yesterday. Yeah. Uh, this is their third game that they have played. And uh, she's actually complaining of the leg there, so the effect of uh, the artificial turf especially coming through all the way from a patch it is a uh, used to playing on grass and gravel and uh, some of them are actually playing on artificial turf for the very very first time in their career and, uh, just reminding you following grass gravel and artificial turf totally different oh she landed very awkwardly and uh, the slip was there totally the game totally changes when you're playing either on gravel grass and on artificial tap, it totally changes. Definitely, it does because you have to have a different game approach. Sometimes different uh, structure calls for different uh, shoes, boots uh, to play in. So there's a lot to be very careful about before approaching games on different kinds of stadia. Sandra Bonio looking to deliver this ball. She's been the one sweeping most of the balls here for St. Peter's from a patch. Away from Abonio. Collected onto the far side. That will be another throw in. Trying to switch that ball forward now. Here comes good play from Nalubega. And they chest that ball. Namwenge tries to open up a body well. Should be looking to deliver. It's a good cross ball, punched away by the keeper. And Auma leaves it for the defender to sweep away Rebecca. Well, she does not want to concede another goal. Rebecca Auma did cry, by the way, in uh, her final game where she conceded eight goals. She actually left the pitch yeah, crying. Uh, because she probably couldn't understand why it happened. So they had a very good first half, but let lose during the second half. And apparently have to defend everything coming their way. Well, they're standing well today. But they have given it away again. Drop ball from Akiror. Auma. Uh, I'm coming duck right now. Jeru. Clouds covering the sun, so the picture needs to be dark till that cloud opens up a little later. Away by a loom poly. And collected by Unjia. Throw in. Ajax Queens. She decides to go long, but apparently ball does not meet destination. It's a throw in and now for St. Peter's, who are enjoying every moment of their lead because they have not let a, they have not led a game in the group at all. Lost five. They had to come back from a goal down against Amoria and apparently suffered a thumping during the second half in this game. They are trying to command. There is better composition from them, and they are manning the midfield so far so well. Throw in for Ajax Queens and uh, referee will penalise someone for a foul. So it's a free kick for Saint Peter's once again. Our front the ball goes. More to play for here, more to come up as usual. And now collected yet again by Nalubega on the I'm run chance. Man. This is a Kiror. Just can't keep the ball on player Kiror. Yeah, yeah. I said Peters. 
right in front of the referee. That's a little bit of dangerous. Uh, we are free kick now to, send, uh, to Ajax Queens. I continue. Long ball from Akiror. There you go again. She falls. Free kick to St. Peter's. Well, they look very comfortable in uh, the first 45. Hope they can continue the way they are playing. I don't know if they can really. Yeah, they will change the permutations of the group if they continue with uh, this uh, win. And even if they are to go home, they will go home with their heads high. Yeah, true. Oh, well, here comes the goalkeeper, comes out, Pamela. Away from Pamela. Now looking for more position away there from Martha Nalikuma. As for Namwenge Benedict, she's trying to see if she can actually be in front to receive the ball through. Already on a yellow card, Namwenge. But again, a Bonio Sandra, together with Akulu Rebecca, have played very well. Akiroar, Patricia. Oh! Nice Strike my chancy, poor. Yeah, poor shot. She had the right direction, she was all alone, could have opted to try it, shift it to the right, but apparently, you know, she's under a lot of pressure to score the equalizer and even get her first goal of the tournament, and apparently makes a mistake, so Sembitas can smile again. Chess is on now, Nalubega Margaret. And again, very good piece of defensive work from Sandra Bonio. Well, this was the chance that came through. And the chance is just failing to utilize that. Well, the delivery was not very bad by Martha Nalukuma. The final execution was the poor one there from uh, Nachanzi. Nanyonjo. Away by Akulu. The very many shots at the back compared to the front. And now there's a miscue here. Could be trouble. Building is the Ajax Queens. Collected now by Nguzi. Long ball forward, straight away, and controlled by the goalkeeper, Rebecca Auma. There's no problem with that. And they drive forward. Well, it's now a game of ping pong from yeah, one side to the other. The ball is just in the down. air. St. Peter's a player. The referee can now go and look at her. Well, St. Peter's, we have found uh, 26 August uh, 2015 under the church of St. Peter's. A boy in a Bolkama village. A boy parish, a coral sub county in a part district. That is in the northern Uganda as a community football club. And Mr. Bua Justin is the one that found this team to empower girl and young women talent through uh, with a lot of ambitions, like I'll tell you later on. Chanzi, Abonyo again, shielding it well and doing the sweeping roll to the Abonyo. Finally, for the first time, they can hold on to play here. St. Peter's good skills from the far side. Chess is on a Kulu Stella. Well, the small crowd that is there just loved what a Kulu did there with her skills, control, and delivery. Master! Throw in here again. That's a worry face you have to admit. They are trailing yeah. by one. They are trailing by one. Ajax Queens. You know they should be worried. Because after the 90 minutes, if uh, the score doesn't change, then that means that they will have to exit the tournament. Ajax Queens, they were one of the top clubs three years ago. You would think they could fight for the Super League title. But her languishing in the tech second tier. 
And apparently it would be so bad if they fell to beat St. Peter's, who everybody in the group has beaten with more than five goals. Will be a ball now to St. Peter's. It will be a free kick and it will be the usual suspect, Sandra Bonio. Number six on your screen to deliver this one long. Away from Abonio. Flecked in. It's in a possession. It's a foul in a good territory. Very lucky that it wasn't in the box there. Could have been a penalty. And still a is down. Ah, very lucky there. Very, very lucky that it was actually outside the box. And now Akulu is in a lot of pain. Yeah, she's in a lot of pain. But again, that is kind of dangerous because we've seen goals scored from such distance. And Ajax screens have to be very, very careful. If there is a very good kicker of the ball, then they would have to get the better out of Pamela, the goalkeeper for Ajax screens. That is a raised leg. Yeah, Nasali was the player. Oh, the defender. I'm still wondering what went wrong. But anyway, Kulu seems to be getting much better and a free kick here for St. Peter's. Well, they need to begin utilizing the set pieces, St. Peter's. Uh, Peters. This is in such a good territory for goal, really. Now, who will take it? Will it be a Chola? Will it be a Cow? Will it be a Cheng Dola? Yeah. Or will it be the usual suspect, a Bonyo? I think Abonyo or Dolika should go for it because they have uh, proved to the world that they can uh, shoot from such distance. Well, nobody wants to take this free kick. Everybody seems to be giving away. <laughs> yeah, really, no one is there. The coach is calling on to Pamela to be alert. That's the goalkeeper for Ajax Queens. A second goal would mean a huge task to try to come back from two goals down. So Pamela has to save the team like she has done before in their last uh, two games so far played free kick. Here comes Abonyo. Strikes this. Oh, very poor. Straight away to the goalkeeper. You should put some energy on that. Just went straight back to the goalkeeper. Now Nachanzi on the chest. Here they come. Ajax wins with five minutes to half time. She's all alone amidst Chanzi. five players. And goes out. Yeah, you would think it was kind of hard for her to go through, but they have a throw in that they take very quickly. Makula. Collected here. The Mwenge. Chance again. When you're looking for room and space, good defense, and it's a foul right out of the box. Just like uh, their counterparts had gotten earlier on, they've also done. Oh, Freaky will be here for the Ajax Queens right now in a good territory, and this is where Namwenge Benedict mm. can be very little at. Yeah, yeah, she's very good with the set pieces. Actually, her and Martha. They should try to communicate, but Namwenge is the best option because it's just directly in the middle and she can take that with her right foot. Oh, Namwenge to deliver. Namwenge calls this, hits the post and goes over the buffet. Goal kick there. Oh, denied, she tried her like. Yeah, she denied by the post. Unlucky. Martha. Martha goes to her and gives her a hand, of course, uh, probably telling her that something will come later on. Goes for safety. This is the free kick. There you go. Long ball hey, yeah, yeah. Oh, chest on by Namwenge. Solid piece of defensive work there by St. Peter's. Well, yesterday they were at level at half. Previous day, yesterday, but one rather, the previous day, they were trailing by 4 0. In the half. Right now, they are leading by 1 0. In the half. Yeah, that is a tremendous change and a very good transition. 
for St. Peter's Pro Club. Can they hold on to it? It's a question for the remaining minutes. Good play there from Nasali to be brought in by the captain who plays it to number four, Nancy Ango. Nancy. Cow. Way by Unjia, straight to the goalkeeper, Nakayondo. Now this could be trouble now. Here comes Nachanzi. And very good play there, finally, by Abonyo. Sometimes when you leave the ball over bounce, you will be in trouble. Abonyo has done so well, clearing all the dangerous balls coming into their box. She's been hands on. And it's a very good thing to say because. Another loose ball <laughs> straight to the goalkeeper. Auma. I need to concentrate. Need to concentrate, really. Well, trust me, the coach of St. Peter's has been the loud one. Monica. The coach has to be loud at times in order to give the instructions. Uh, sometimes you give the instructions and the instructions are not followed by the players. So you have to keep on shouting. It's a way there by Namugirwa. Namwenge picks up the foul. Good position of play here for the St. Peter's footballers is very nice. Whenever they lose the ball, they all fall back behind to try and defend. Want to lose, uh, leave those spaces. Akiror. <laughs> Look at how she's holding that ball there. Auma just falls on it. Trouble. Three minutes have actually been added into this first 45 here. Minimum of three. Question remains can St. Peter's go into the break leading for the very first time? They have never led since they began this week. <laughs> the, is laughing. No, the coach must have told the, uh, the goalkeeper to leave the ball. Yeah. Try and waste a few because she had all the right to go for that ball to hold it. But she, the way she left it, no ball. For those who are coming from northern part of uh, the country, I think you'll understand very well the words of the coach there. And that's the pressure that football can actually put you in. Makula. Ooh, here comes a chance for the shot. It's an equalizer. Slumsiness, slumsiness, slumsiness. Really, everybody went away, and Namwenge was blessed with a fine goal. They just can't keep a clean sheet. Sabidas Football Club. And again, the persistent Namwenge, Bernadette, just gets better each passing minute. And she, when she got her chance, drafted that in. St. Peter's cannot keep a clean sheet in the half since the tournament started for them. And this is very bad because Ajax can now try to build from here with a few seconds for the half to end. A lack of concentration really for the St. Peter's side. They kept everything and just slipped when it mattered. Toto, they have now considered 14 in three games. Yeah, just a loose ball. Chooses her corner, puts energy on it, realizes the keeper is off her line. And bam, she shoots. And apparently it's an equalizer. Two for her so far in the tournament. Kuma. 
Well, keeper comes out, could be trouble, but uh, also to that ball there. If you look at uh, the human resource of St. Peter's, the goalkeeper has been the one who has been more busy, really. Yeah, but I think for both teams, Naka Young on the other side, and then for St. Peter's, because today she's been attacked very often, as we have a few seconds to, for the half to end. Well, there you go. The center referee does blow the whistle to bring the first 45 minutes to an end. And trust me, the coach of uh, St. Peter's won't be very happy with this side. Won't be very, really happy. Well, he thought maybe they would go into the break on the lead, but that has not happened. The defense went to sleep and gifted Namwenge her second goal of the competition. But all in all, the goalkeeper, Auma Rebecca, has done everything in her power to try very much to keep her side at the lead but unfortunately that has not been so for now so ajax queens going to the break level with saint peter's so we go for the break when we come back analysis and the next 45 in just a bit we've cut and reduced our mtn momo withdrawal rates now you can withdraw mobile money at the lowest rate you also get MTN Central Points when you deposit, send, and withdraw MTN Mobile Money. Visit our Momo agents countrywide and withdraw mobile money at our reduced rates from 1st May 2021. Everywhere you go, MTN. What does it mean to be closer together? It's taking the last bus home for a surprise visit. Closer together is strangers finding a connection. It's bringing home something much more than a box. It's the warmth of home or the beginning of something new. There's magic in sharing the things that we learn because it's those things that bring us close together. It's no secret that ICT makes learning easy. The strides made in our field could not be possible without it. And now we can watch our favorite show. Ah, my radio is my best friend. UCC provides an enabling regulatory environment and policy guidance for healthy competition. We also facilitate ease of doing business in the communications sector through licensing, standardization, spectrum management, tariff regulation, rural communication development and consumer empowerment. An informed consumer is an empowered consumer. UCC supports local content and innovations. Driving the development of a robust communications sector in Uganda is Uganda Communications Commission. Kapo, you seem to be in a hurry. Where are you going to? I'm going to pay URA visit. But you can access URA online. Why pay a visit? To know more about the Kakasa Business Solutions, namely digital tracking solution, the voluntary disclosure program and electronic fiscal receipting and invoicing solution which have turned my business around you know i need to be on top of my game to protect my empire <laughs> yeah, if you know you know i too need to know what kapo knows kakasa be sure you are in charge of your business uganda revenue authority developing uganda together When you talk about our motherland Uganda, the Pearl of Africa, you cannot fail to smile because of the smile that fills the faces of the citizens. Our nice good weather and nature that sustains us all, that enables us all to continue each in their own way because we are all different even according to each individual's work. But what joins us to become one person is the sweetness from the flavored drink Alleluia Jingati drink and Alleluia Tamarind drink. 
the flavor that quenches your thirst while at the same time treating and healing your body because it is 100% natural. Enjoy the drink that has got the tamarind juice in it. Made by Alleluia Reflexology, Healthy Solutions and Nutritional Research Center Limited. Get yourself a bottle of Alleluia from all shops around. Experience a 100% 4G speeds across Uganda with the Airtel 4G Pocket Wi-Fi available at 123,000 shillings only. It comes with 15 GB free for one month. Visit the nearest Airtel shop, device selling shop or Airtel online shop. www.airtel.co.ug slash broadband dash discover. Airtel, the smartphone network. Welcome back from half of, from, from a half of football that has, that has finished one all down at the Fatigan Coast Center in Nigeria. It's the Women's uh, Elite League, and uh, the one all is between Ajax Queens against St. Peter's. St. Peter's are whipping boys of this group, but doing wonders in this particular game that may surprise many Ugandans out there. Good morning. My name is John Burns, and I'm, I remind Ugandans it's the FUFA Women's Elite League, and because of COVID 19, it's been played in four groups, each of four teams. The first group, Bunyar, um, Kings of Kings and Dynamic qualified to go to the quarterfinals. The second group B was Abunyaroguru and Rines. And now, this is group C. I'm joined on the set by Fifi, Fiona Pink and Amiro, who will delve deeper and tell us exactly what's happened in this particular game and the entire context of the, the FIFA Women Elite League 2021. Yeah, I think it's better planning and good game approach coming in from St. Peter's, who had conceded uh, very many goals in the past two games, uh, 13 uh, to be exact. Uh, when you look at today, uh, the, keep, uh, the coach opted uh, to leave some of his PC players. Uh, probably he realized that uh, the PC players sometimes uh, uh, go up front and forget to come back to backtrack. That is why they considered so many. So he decided uh, to sit Teddy, uh, bring in uh, Akulu Rebecca, who is giving them a rhythm up front. Then he left his best player on, that is uh, Dolika, uh, who is scored today. Apparently, uh, the best two players for each team uh, have performed uh, today because uh, when you look at Dolika, she's gotten herself on the score sheet. Then when you look at Namwenge, she also did that. For Ajax Queens, I think they have defensive wars, not only in this match, but we saw it in the first game. Uh, they had tried to come back, but again, we are beaten by Amori at 3-2. At the death, that means that they lose concentration sometimes. So, uh, for their captain, Namugera Doreen, uh, Nanyonjo on the right, and uh, Kirol Irene on the left, uh, today they have failed uh, to partner so well. Uh, in the second game, uh, the coach had decided to uh, shift Akirol uh, to give a free role at the backside. But when you look at uh, the goals considered, uh, you realize that there was a lapse in defense. And that's why Dolika, uh, the best player for St. Peter's, uh, got them ahead. But again, the question is, how long would uh, St. Peter's uh, continue leading? Because just at the death, again, they gave it away. That is how Namwenge picked up a loose ball in the box and shot it. She blasted it, apparently. Uh, so the goalkeeper uh, could not have any chances on it. She's been attacked more uh, than Nakayondo, who has been a tremendous Ajax Queens. But for me, it is the game approaches uh, for both teams. Uh, for the assistant coach of Ajax Queens, uh, they need to do a lot better. Uh, that is at the backside. And then for uh, the coach of... Uh, uh, St. Peter's realized that today he came with a better composition in the midfield, packed it so well and asked his players to fight for every ball. They have gone out to get all those loose balls. Uh, today have not uh, 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 actually have not uh, witnessed uh, the blind passes like they have done in the past matches and have tried to cover the spaces. But the question is because we've seen them concede few, apart from the first game where they had conceded four against Vision, but we've seen them concede few in the first half. And then coming back and losing it all. They lost seven in the second half. That is again, it's actually, I think six because it ended 2 1. Again, it's Tamuria, which means there's some loss in concentration as they come back into the game. Maybe it's issues of uh, fitness levels. And I remind you, Ghanaians, that if you're watching the highlights, if you watch the highlights as if it was uh, taking you through the first half of the game, the team in red is Ax Queens. And one of those teams in Uganda that is more renowned. And I know many guys out there would love it to get the victory today because if he doesn't win, its chances of progression are going to be very, very limited. Fifi, yep. um, uh, you talk about fitness. Uh, 
there was a rest day yesterday. Yeah. Now the teams are coming back for, for their final match day today. Yeah. Do you realize that uh, there is some energy, energy effort from uh, St. Peter's? Yeah. Because the rest day gives them enough time yeah. to come into this one. Do you expect them to... You've talked of the collapse yeah. in the first and second game. Mm -hmm. Do you see them collapse now? Yeah, I see them collapsing because it's just a few details uh, that give them away. I just look at the way Namwenge, there were five players surrounding the ball. Namwenge picked it up, though Ajax Queens have also not been a very good side uh, considering all the three games. This one, of course, halfway done, but realize that they've also lost concentration at some point. But for St. Peter's, it is too much. And sometimes uh, the tactic for the goalkeeper, she has that tactic of always uh, going low and picking the balls, which means she will have problems when the shots come in the middle or high balls that means that she will have issues because even we've seen her, a fumble with the balls going down with it and just getting the air and not getting the ball and uh, for Ajax because uh, I know they are ambitious we saw them in the first game they have always played a better second half actually in all their three games in all their two games this one is the third one you think because they know what is at stake they will come back and St. Peter's for me it may not be a big margin uh, but it looks like they will again stumble uh, because uh, for them I think they have realized they are playing for respect. They are trying to limit the damage. But at the end of the day, they lose concentration so much. They are okay when going forward. But mm. when without the ball, they are a bit alarming. Yeah, I remind you, Gunners, that this group C that we are watching down at the Fatikin Center of this FUFA Women Elite League. The Elite League is the second tier of uh, Ugandan women's football. And I, like I told you, it's Group A, Group B, and Group C now that we are witnessing. The reason as to why this game is very, very monumental for the team playing in red is because the team playing in blue is already out of this tournament. They've conceded uh, 13 goals before this and uh, lost two games. That puts them on zero points coming into this one. They have a point as it stands of now, but that is not enough for them to qualify. Ajax Queens must win. Came into this with three points, now on four points, but their competitors, Amuria and Vision that play later. Fifi, talk yes. the mathematics of this group. Yeah, the mathematics of the group is Ajax Queens uh, may pray it ends like this or they add a goal and pray Amuria thumps Vision. Even if it's not tapping, but again, if Amuria, because they have proven to be the best in the group, considering their goal difference and their game approach, because they have almost beaten everyone so far, apart from the team they are going to play. So, looks like they are headed to go through uh, with already the good uh, goal difference, and looks like no team is planning to join them on six points, apart from Ajax Queens, if uh, they are to pull up their sockings and try to do better in the second half. The permutations are, St. Peter's is already out, and uh, uh, right now, uh, probably, uh, they are playing for respect back at home, and for Mr. Just Bua, who put up this team uh, to curb crime in the community and give chance uh, to the girls uh, to have something to cling on to. Yeah, they come from Apache, isn't it? Yes. Apache, please wake up and be a part of this action. Second half continues in a minute with Peter Tai and Fifi. Fiona Pink in Amiro. All right, welcoming you back to the second half. It is still uh, X Queens 1 and uh, St. Peter's 1 here. And the question remains, will be going on to collect all the maximum pointers here today. Will it be the X Queens or will it be the St. Peter's side here? Yeah, the referee was saying something uh, to both goalkeepers and uh, captains of the team. Something should have gone down there that we don't know about, uh, but apparently we are happy uh, to be giving you the second half. Yeah. Well, St. Peter's actually beginning from where they stopped here, defending. El Kuma venturing forward now. Naguzi trying to leg that ball away to Akiror here. And good piece of defensive work for Naume Aul trying to make sure that there is nobody that passes with that ball. It's going to be a throw in now to Ajax Queens. Patricia Akiror. Patricia looking for the goal scorer, Namwenge. 
Oh, possessing that ball perfectly, that's uh, Nanguzi does well, and again picks up the foul. Oh, that's very good skills, very, very good skills there. Trouble on a whole Naomi. Totally beaten until she sat down. And uh, Nanguzi, perfect play, very, very good play there. Strike kick here to the Ajax Queens. Oh, this is a skill, look at this. And there. Well, finally, the foul coming in from uh, Maureen Akao, but there's a free kick now to the Ajax Queens. Namwengo needs and uh, in a dangerous position for St. Peter's. Wenge trying to drop this. Whistle blown, and uh, it's going to be a free kick now to uh, St. Peter's. Well, St. Peter's currently as it stands will be having four points to their name. Lost one game, won one game. Lost to Amuria, 3-2. Another chance there, but stolen off the legs of Nachanzi Caroline. Mata, now stolen away by Ujia. For kick. That trip from the backside is a little hurting. Oh, that's a chola, Priska. Yeah, Priska feeling the pain and apparently wins uh, St. Peter's a free kick. Before the center line. Stamp on the leg there for Chula. Feeling the effect of that. Patricia. Looking for Namwenge. And that goes away now for a goal kick now to St. Peter's. All the weekend, Ginger very quiet. Chola, Chola again. Trying to deliver that ball forward now, soon away by the captain. Play there from Dolika, and away for another throw in. It's good pressing here from. Uh, St. Peter's. Ashula will be leaving it to Naomi Awol to now get this ball forward. Actually, it's going to be brought in by Akulu Rebecca. <laughs> Achola Priska has actually been warned by the referee to stop using her elbow. She's yeah. overthrowing the elbow around. Yeah, and it is punishable by a red card depending on how the referee sees it. So if there is a warning, then Achola needs to be very, very careful. Free kick, Patricia Akiror. Patricia again. Possessed perfectly here. Could have gotten away there by Narubega, but now the attack is on. Achola over Patricia. Uh, Patricia Kiro goes for safety. Throw here to St. Peter's. And, uh, Kulu could be the one to go for the throw in right now for the St. Peter's side. They'll be looking to maybe score another. Or maybe keep it at Parich at 1 1 if they can. But uh, still have a lot of minutes to play for. It's going to be a throw again to the Queens. Throw here to the Ajax Queens. Five minutes of the second half played so far. Still 1-1. One, one. Patricia. Those of uh, the pitch and Tepitas will have the advantage. They are undoing has always been in the second half. Where they have thrown away everything. We saw that during a division game where they lost a four in the first half. They tried to come back in the second half but still considered one. Again, Mr. Moria oh, no, was stolen away for them. Nachanzi. Nachanzi again. 
She's fighting her way to hold the ball at Chanzi. Alubega. Munita Nasali looking to be the one to suit this ball forward here for the African Queens. So Ajax Queens rather. And collected yet again and swept away by the ladies from Apache. Ball just failing to get away from there. And now kept to play again. Mwenge. Nalubega looking for Nachanzi. Oh, header just actually going away for a goal kick. Yeah, Ajax Queen's uh, probing a little better, approaching cautiously and trying to use the spaces left by St. Peter's in the final third of the pitch. This is where St. Peter's sometimes go wrong, leaving those spaces, gaps, and failing to round off the accelerating players of Ajax. Apparently, that may cause them problems a little later. Aerial battle wins over the board. It's St. Peter's. Pamela Nakayondo won't be uh, disturbed by that. Switching that ball very long, Pamela. Now Menge. And Mwenge again. The chance is open. Here they come slowly, looking to probe up. It's wasted ball and finally put away there for a throw in here to the Axe Queens. Now they'll try to bring in Teddy. Yeah, Teddy is coming in, I think, to add pace up front and help partner Dolika up front uh, for a better creativity. That is why the coach rested her so that she can uh, pounce in the second half of the game. She has very many about 37 well Achola shall be the one getting out and in comes uh, Ajok, Ajok Teddy, Teddy. Yeah. Ajok Teddy and Dolika were a very good duo in their last games though has not yet registered a goal because the only goal they have okay the only two goals they have including in this game are from Dolika but Teddy was helpful when they scored against Amoria in the last game. Still 1-1 one, one here. Long ball for St. Peter's. Headed back again by Nanyonjo. That's Nasali. Pressing here. Mwenge and the foul in a very good territory. Oh, this could be very dangerous here now for the St. Peter's side because Namwenge just been fouled in an area that she loves to score from. Well, she'll be the one to go for this for the Ajax Queens now. Namwenge. Free kick now to the Ajax Queens. Namwenge with two goals in the competition. Goes for this one. And heavy. Yeah. Just failing to calculate the yeah. distance. It is right so far from her, including the two attempts in the first half. One hit the post and the other went a little bit wide. This one also goes slightly higher. Now she needs to curve better and bring it down a bit to uh, score a brace in the game. Kiror. Nalubega onto this chance again. Here comes Namwenge. Down she goes. Penalty. Well, there you have it. Uh, penalty here for these Ajax Queens. Namwenge was the player that was actually brought down. I think that is her speciality. When you look for expertise from her, she's an expert on that and leaves the penalty kick for. Her teammate, but just where it comes from, of course, she was brought down carelessly. Carelessly, St. Peter's. Oh, there you go. That's the second goal. So
sorry again for that delay there, but uh, second goal scored by Martha. Was that Martha? Yeah, no, it's actually not Martha. It's Na Naguzi Morin. Yeah, that's uh, Naguzi Morin. Just in number 10, making it 2-1. Okay, Naguzi Morin scoring her first goal in the tournament. And of course, giving Ajax Queens more confidence to move forward. Remember, we did warn you that St. Peter's do not only concede one. When they go on to concede, considering the past games, it has been five and above. Let's see how they can be stretched by Ajax Queens. But apparently Ajax now know this is what they have to do to get six points. Well, just goes away for goal kick now to St. Peter's. They actually led for the very first time in this competition. Now they've just given it away. And Ajax Queens, we've actually seen them coming from behind on many occasions. The Chansey and Yonjo. Swept away again, giving away to Namwenge. A very clever footballer, Namwenge. Yeah, she is very clever. Holds up play. And when she has the ball, you're sure it is within your possession. So. That is why for me she's the MVP for Ajax Queens. Nera, nera, nera. Just look at Shady defending. Clearing to your own half again. Kuna coming up now. And Guzzi more in for the corner. And Yondo trying to go for this ball. That will be another foul here. It is to St. Peter's. I've been told as students of Areng, SS and Amugu SS, who help partner build up the St. Peter's squad are watching at school. Thank you so much alongside Josh. All the way in Fort Porto, if I don't forget. St. Peter's? Need to defend gallantly, Peter Otai. Another corner now to the Ajax Queens here. Kuna brought in, and that's a poor one. <laughs> it did go in, but it was actually poor. The ball did come from out to win. Sure. And uh, the flag had already gone up, so that goal won't count. Mm. Away by Abonio. And swept away perfectly for the Queens again to collect Nanyonjo. Away by Martha. And Yonjo again, it's a big ball forward. Martha Nalikuma repossesses again. Martha, she can strike from well and punch away by the goalkeeper Auma. Yeah, Auma does well, Peter, to keep the team at bay. Otherwise, a third will mean St. Peter's are losing hope a bit. And now the corner. Yeah, that's the corner. It actually came from out. There we go. Oh, okay. From out. <laughs> and the keeper, who might actually put it in. <laughs> well, let's wait and see if they can get a good response. Mwenge. And again, the flag is up. Those are two cancelled corners. And I think they didn't uh, watch the game against Amoria because for Amoria, it was about swinging in the corners. Uh, picking up the loose balls in the box and adding on to their goals. That is what Ajax Queen should do if they are to cement a super winner from this encounter. Here comes Teddy Ajok. Uh, loses that ball freely. Uh, the from Nasali trying to put more pressure on Teddy Ajok. And uh, the referee says it's uh, a throw for the Queens. Patricia Hero, foul throw. Here we go again. Well, what's the problem? Again, that the ball had actually crossed. It was from, yeah, it came from out in. Yeah. Twice, by the way, twice now. Yeah. 
Akulu to throw. Substitution here, Namirembe is coming in. Yeah, she has always come from the bench. And Namirembe are for Ajax Queens. And apparently looks like Nalongkuma will be the one coming off. I need to be sure about that. I think the coach is adding more firepower up front uh, to try get as many goals as possible. Of course, a win is good, but scoring many goals gives you confidence going into other games. Long ball forward now by Nalubega. And they're trying to chase on. Chanzi straight to the goalkeeper. Pummels on that. Oh, miscues again and repossesses. And, uh, like I told you before, a kind of goalkeeping will actually cost you in the long run because when you keep on falling on the ball, it will be bouncing up. True. And, and also, you'll be prone to injuries. And yeah, there we go. It, yeah, that's why I was about to say that it uh, causes injuries very easily because remember, every time you have to pounce onto the ball, the ball has its weight. Nalu Nkumamatha is a player that came off and Nami Rembe is the player that was given way in. Apparently, he's also a very good midfielder who has that muscle that can kick from a long distance. I believe it's watched why the coach picked interest in her to come play these remaining minutes of the game. Well, you can see billboards talking about the Uganda Premier League in the background. That is the top tier in men's football and one of the most sold for and glamorous leagues in East Africa. Apparently producing a very good products who are a very good example to the Women's Super League and uh, FUFA Women Elite League at large. A water break? Is it official? As I cannot no, no, still an team. injury concern, so okay. they take the time to or well, try and uh, get the water in, but so far there we go. The goalkeeper Uma still receiving that treatment. Just reminding you the Queens all the way from Bulenga, the ones leading this one by two goals to one over. St. Peter's uh, comes all the way from a patch. Uh, this will mean the Queens are coming back better because they lost their first game 3-2. They scored in that. Won their second game. It was a Nalu Vega Margaret goal. And now we're trying to win this. That means that uh, their last two are the games that will take them through to the quarterfinals. And for St. Peter's, I think it's all about not trying to concede so many like they did as referee signals for restart of the game. Just 26 minutes remaining to play for here. Just 26. And, uh, game still happening anyway. Aki Roar here. Namwenge waiting. Stolen away here by Alubega. Cross ball through. Lika coming out and oof. It's a foul. So we're coming up again to the Queens. Kiroli are fighting very hard now. Kulu. Well, this was uh, the earlier foul there. You can see the kick coming in from uh, Namwenge. Passes up Namirembe forward. Namwenge just fell into control that ball. 
Well, it goes away now for a goal kick now to St. Peter's. Oh, Namirembe coming in for Nanikuma. Trying to increase on the pace of flow of that ball. Sabonio Sandra. To play by Teddy. And away again for a throw into St. Peter's. Well, they play some interesting football, really. They just need to sort out a few areas. Kulu. Teddy. Free kick. So, I'm wondering why a jock Teddy actually began on the bench. The coach probably planned for a better game approach. And uh, sometimes when you consider a lot, you have uh, to utilize your best players very well. She realized Dolika could take on the first half, then Teddy could challenge in the second half. Sport turning. Flicked on there by Namwenge. And the chest from Nachanzi here. This is good for the Ajax Queens. If Nachanzi can cross first time, she does. Goalkeeper fumbles and what? what? Nanubega Margaret misses a chance for make it three. Yeah, I think she ran a little bit too fast. And when the ball came, she needed to just time it and just place the ball. But remember, it was an accelerating one. She was also moving. They failed to meet. And that is why Ajax Queens have been denied the third. Well, disappointing for Margaret Nanubega. There was a chance to make it three, but a good run from Nachanzi. Look at this. The cross was good. Fortunately, it looks like uh, Nalubega Margaret could have closed her eyes by the time the ball was approaching fast. Just closed her eyes and there you go. What a miss. Terrible miss here. Ooh, that's a foul. That's really a foul. Free kick here to St. Peter's. Could be bookable offense. Is it St. Peter's or X Queens? Oh, St. Peter's there. That's a free kick. Yeah, yellow card to the captain, Dolika. So it's a free kick to X Queens, Peter. Yeah, free kick. Dolika actually going very hard on uh, Maureen Nanguzi. Nanguzi will be receiving some medical attention. Got a knock on the neck around there just 22 minutes to to play for yeah, of course, she's being stretched so that uh, the neck is in its right position. The doctors are making sure of that before they can recommend her to continue in the game. Ajax Queen's assistant coach looks a little bit worried because apparently I think he depends on them so much. Namwenge there preparing to go for the free kick as Acheng Dolika, captain receives that yellow card confirmation and Namwenge picks up the ball as she will try to go long. Referee is still issuing out a few instructions to Dolika but I think the yellow card is already enough uh, to send her a warning message. Namwenge to deliver. 20 minutes remaining. This is Namwenge with the delivery. But she's side nets. Cool away. Kiror. Who are turning from Namirembe, but they get that ball away to Nalubega. Kulu fouled. And uh, 
the referee did buy her cry there, so it's going to be a free kick now to St. Peter's as they continue to probe and see if they can actually come back level up matters later. But uh, judging from the way they are putting these balls in, it could be a little poor Teddy. Delica handles the ball and it's a handball. Well, the next game will be coming up at exactly midday. Yeah, and that is between Amoria and Vision Football Club from Kate Goom. But I really wonder why Madam Aisha and the rest of the competitions committee could not run these games concurrently because since they are deciders, why not have them at the same time? Well, they may have their prob uh, own issues. A keeper fumbles with the ball, but hey, <laughs> finally gets it firmly in her hands. Oh, by the way, you're right. All these final games of the group are supposed to be played at the same time. We have seen that in the other, well, in the other groups. Fari having a word with Auma Rebecca. Mwenge. On the run now. Looking for Nachanzi. No foul. The Mwenge! 3-1. And it's Namwenge scoring a third goal of the competition. Yeah, Namwenge. Superb Namwenge. I think alongside the likes of Emmanuel Akol and Rohema Okruch, she's trying to be one of the best in the group. But carrying Ajax Queens on her shoulders, Namwenge, slow but sure, is how you can describe her. She's got that hard shot that is very hard, but also Caroline will be thanked for the work because that is she set up Namwenge arguably and Namwenge had to flex, open up the body and go for that wide shot. 3 1. I told you, St. Peter's normally concede five and above. We are just yet to see. If more two are coming from Ajax Queens, otherwise, 17 to play for, and St. Peter's are just giving up at the moment. Well, 3 1 it is here. About 17 minutes ago, 3 2 1. You go and pick that ball. Go and play it. Play. The problem here with the wall now, me and the referee. Actually, it was a bone, you rather. Substitution. And substitution. Five out, twelve in. For who? That's the question. And uh, could be a loom poly coming out. <laughs> Foul, freaky. Well, referee says it's actually a foul throw, so it's a throw in. Actually, the referee's word a key roll to go long. Well, that should be easy for the keeper to pick up. <laughs> Again, she was falling backwards. Yeah, Alum is out. Alum is out. Yeah, Alum, the defender, is out, and Amule, the midfielder, comes in. That is uh, to, I think, better compactness at the midfield level as Ajax Queens try to uh, get possession. Well, it's a miscue now. Here comes Teddy on the chest. And again, very good running there from uh, the goalkeeper, Pamela. Nakayondo Pamela, to redeem themselves there. But again, it was good closing in from uh, Dolika. Yeah, well-timed interception from her. She's one of those that comes out uh, very quickly. Rebecca, Teddy, another foul throw. Kill Rebecca failing to throw now. It's a throw for Aki Roar. Teddy. Switch of the wing from Teddy. And away by Nanyonju Sharon for a throw here to St. Peter's. Again, for Teddy. Uh, 
Okay, Rory just allows the ball to roll out. This is Namirembe. Beats one. It's good running. And lays that ball through. Trying to look for four, but they just can't get that. Well, St. Peter's from uh, a patch. Considered five on day one, considered eight on day two, now considering three on day three. Yeah, when you add five to eight, it's 13. And when you add three, it is 16. 16 just in three matches. Very bad record for them, St. Peter's football team. There's a problem with the corner flag. Has it been, uh, is it at the wind? Or somebody kicked it in the process? Don't drop it. Mwenge collected calmly. A chance that over the bar it went. Well, Nanguzi trying to look for something for herself again. Scored from the penalty. It's looking to double her tally just like the way Namwenge Benedict has done today. Namakula, Riziki, Namirembe, Akulu. Wardo, Wardo. And away by the captain Namugirwa to Rin for a throw coming up now to St. Peter's. Well, St. Peter's have, pro uh, have produced goal scorers in matches against them, actually, top scorers of the, the group. Namwenge, a crew to talk about a call. And then the birthday girl who scored a hat trick for Amoria Football Club. Namwenge intercepting. goes above the bar free kick for St. Peter's. Well, the captain doing very well there, Dorin, but it's not yet done. And the Queens continue to fight. It's becoming physical, and a uh, referee has to come to the rescue. Hakulu was well, the player there. Hakulu receiving a final word from the referee, Rebecca Kulu. It's about... Uh, 11 minutes to play for here in 11 minutes we can see more goals coming if they can't come but this was the battle between akulu oops and there the hams uh, the elbow almost from akulu this is nachanzi they're looking for four can they come yes they do it is a hard trick for Namwenge Benadet. Hat trick for her today. So this is the second hat trick we are seeing in the Elite League. And she's top scorer of the tournament in Group B so far. If I can mention four goals to her name, three have come in this one, and the other one came in the game against Amoria on their first match day. But just look at the defenders and look at her goal. She just nipped that in. Following it closely, again opening up a bit and sliding it home. As the defenders fell to track, keeper had come in to get the ball from the legs. Namwenge, I repeat my statement. St. Peter's normally concede five and above. It is just one to go. St. Peter's lose grip of their game in the second half. You don't know why it happened so. Nalu Vega and Namwenge teaming up on that one. Well, the X-Queens surely will be marching to the quarterfinals. And also will be possibly Amuria on the other side if they 
Khan because for Amoria they've actually collected two wins already. And Vision only has uh, one win. Oh. Yeah, they come again. Long ball away here. Well, by the way, we've actually seen two hat tricks in this group, yeah. and all the two hat tricks came against the same team. Against St. Peter's. One from Amoria, and now from Ajax Queens. Well, Namwenge has spent the longest time among us all players at Ajax Queens. She's been there since 2016, so it is five years of experience for her. And I think it is the trust from the coaches that gives her the confidence uh, to venture forward and uh, freely score goals whenever she's called to duty. Corner for Ajax Queens. Corner for the Ajax. Well, anything can still come from this. Ball brought through. Another chance for the header. Goalkeeper is fouled. And that the goal counts surprisingly. Well, I thought the goalkeeper was actually fouled because as if I had a whistle. And that looks like Margaret and Caroline going on to celebrate. No, this no, it one. can't be a goal. I had the whistle. It can't be a goal. Okay. Well, surprisingly, the goalkeeper. Sorry, the referee had pointed <laughs> to the center. To the center. I think uh, advice from the assistant referee was uh, the reason for change of decision but again that is a message uh, for St. Peter's that a fifth one could come in any moment from now St. Peter's now trying to attack Foul. Well, Ajax will be getting the free kick just about 8 minutes remaining to play for here game still very much alive anyone can actually win this one that is uh, the replay of the foul on the goalkeeper. I think there were very many numbers that was hard to tell who exactly caused trouble. Oh, you can see the goalkeeper tried her luck. Yeah, she got her ball and Namwenge tried to get it from the back. Away by Auma. Seven minutes. Oh, we have free kick here. Akulu. I don't know exactly what's up with Akulu. And the referee still talking through. And we shall have a substitution now. As the referee opts for the drop ball. A substitution coming up. Looks like Sharon Nanyonjo. Yeah, the right back. No, actually not Sharon rather, but uh, it could be the other way around. A warm Nancy. Hey, a warm and another Kulu coming in for St. Peter's. I think it is now to give playing time to the other players. Uh, to have uh, minutes in the game and to warm up their bodies before they head back home because it looks like they are not staying after this. Corner. Corner here for the African, sorry, for the Ajax Queens. A confirmation of the goals there, you can see. Namwenge with the hat trick. Nangozi and St. Peter's goal awarded to Unija. I feel like Dolika is the one who put in that goal, the captain. Kuna. Kiror will be the one to deliver this one. Sweden C. Kona brought through. Miscued and it's an on call. There you have it. It's 5 1, and it looks like. Uh, the goal could have been scored by Abonyo, if I'm not mistaken. Akirol Irene also was in there. For that, I did see her there make an effort. Well, she took the corner. Yeah, she took the corner, and they're thanking her for swinging that in. But like I mentioned, until it's five, you're not sure oh St. Peter's has stopped conceding. Is it a straight corner? That's an own goal. Yeah, own goal, and the Sorry effort about. is from Akirol. On goal. On goal by Aul. 
Such a wall for rugby stick. We shall be able to see that because it wasn't all that clear. In total now, St. Peter's has conceded 18 goals. Oh, here comes another goal and missed. What a miss. And now goes out to another corner. Whenever they get a corner, you need to be worried. You need to be very, very worried. Well, I've seen waiting. Let's see if I could have seen Naomi a wall. Corner. And Patricia Akiro will be the one to deliver this one. That's another from Patricia. It's bubbling through. It's a goal again. And this time, the referee says, How is that a foul? Jesus Christ, I thought it was a back heel. Nalubega Margaret, unhappy with the referee's decision. The coach is wondering, like Peter is also wondering, what really happened? We shall see that. I don't know what happened really. Well, for a team that has scored five, they'll just continue playing and not argue about that attempt. St. Peter's have just. Oh, here we go, here we go. Okay. Let's see, set of the park. That's a goal. That's yeah, a goal. For me, there is no problem with the goal. Was she offside? No, no. offside. There's no offside from a corner. I tell that ball came through. Look at this. You have players in the goal there. Yeah. There we go. And it was That's a, a goal. Knick -knack in. That's a goal. I don't know. Assistant referee should have been the one to decide on that. And I know the referee will watch the replay, but too bad the goal is cancelled. Yes, indeed. Solid play. Okay. Nalubega Margaret misses a chance to go on the score sheet in a very, very intelligent manner. You realize she was facing up front, and the best way was to just back heel the ball. Otherwise, turning would invite opponents to come and clear. Oh, unlucky for her. The goal is cancelled as Akirol steps up her game, Peter. During the second half, she's been thrilling and has been tremendous swinging in those corners that have caused trouble for defenders of St. Peter's substitution. Well, this is the time that uh, the Ajax Queens will be making that sub. Well, very unlucky that they actually failed to uh, get that goal. Still wondering why the goal was cancelled surely there was no offside whatsoever is totally. there any chance to rescind the decision no you can't you can't the only best you can do is apologize she's pulling away by nami rembe this is nami rembe looking to open up and a strike goes outside this time it was from uh, nalubega margaret yeah, Margaret has tried so much, Peter, to get her name on the score sheet. She already has a goal in the tournament, the one that won against Vision, but apparently she's the player walking off. Yeah, Nalubega Margaret will be getting out. She's had a very good role in today's action, mm. playing the center striking role today. And Nanjobe coming in. Yeah, Nanjobe has had less playing time. Again, she's also a midfielder. And I think the coach is just giving are we playing time for other girls to get confidence before they go to the quarterfinals? Look at Ajax Queens. Minimum of three minutes added. Yeah. Ball through. Just fell from long distance. Five one. It's the same reading that was in the first game when they played Vision Football Club. Actually, it was five zero. Pardon me on that. Saint Peter's didn't answer in that one. But in this one, they scored first, looked astute and better composed until the second half happened. I believe Saint Peter's then need to work on their energy levels 
and their work rate during the second half because it means they only plan for 45 minutes and the other minutes are just left for the opponents. There is a throw in for St. Peter's. There is an argument going on between a coach and referee. Coach asking, is it a foul? And referee saying, I'm in charge of the game. We've started coaching, so leave that to me. Throw now to Ajax. Just a few, just a minute and a few seconds remaining to play for here. Flick ball, no foul. Away by the defender. Was Namakula. Mirembe loses. Kirol winning. Throw for Ajax Queens. Good to see Ajax Queens scoring many. And most so Namwenge scoring three. It is a free kick for St. Meters. It's just about time they packed everything they have and picking up a few lessons are from the tournament. Plan a very good second half and stop opening up. Low ball forward, swept away again. We are seconds away from that final whistle here, just seconds away. Push forward, chest forward and win game. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, so here for St. Peter's. Ah, Even when you think they should be wasting time, Namwenge. Well, there you go. The referee does blow the whistle to bring these 90 minutes of football to an end. St. Peter's thumped again by five goals to one. It's not been very good for them yeah. in this campaign. They have swallowed 18 in total and are heading back home with a lot of lessons to pick from the tournament. But just like we say, the representation itself is good for a patch district and apparently good are for Mr. Boa Justin, who had the idea to set up the team. The schools are the parents supporting the players and apparently it is not all lost. They've had Dolika and Teddy also I have inviting signatures for other teams, but apparently it is 5-1 and Ajax Queens could be offered to the quarterfinals. They await the last game. If Vision can thump Amuria with a better goal difference, then probably they can go through. That is how it stands at the moment, Peter. Well, so far, that is uh, the final proceedings of this match. The Ajax Queens will be very much uh, booed with a good performance on a losing one game so far in this uh, competition and that was to Amuria but here they have beaten St. Peter's by 5-1. We go for the break and of course before we go for that break there has to be the handover ceremony of the ball to the uh, hat-trick hero Namwenge Benedict. She becomes the second player to actually receive uh, that ball and there you have it. Job well done and uh, congratulations for scoring a hat-trick today that is Namwenge. We go for the break when we come back analysis and the wrap-up. withdrawal rates. Now you can withdraw mobile money at the lowest rates. You also get MTN Centu points when you deposit, send and withdraw MTN mobile money. Visit our Momo agents countrywide and withdraw mobile money at our reduced rates from 1st May 2021. Everywhere you go, MTN. What does it mean to be closer together? It's taking the last bus home for a surprise visit. Closer together is strangers finding a connection. It's bringing home something much more than a box. It's the warmth of home or the beginning of something new. There's magic in sharing the things that we love. 
because it's those things that bring us close together. Kapo, you seem to be in a hurry. Where are you going to? I'm going to pay URA a visit. But you can access URA online. Why pay a visit? To know more about the Kakasa Business Solutions, namely Digital Tracking Solution, the Voluntary Disclosure Program and Electronic Fiscal Recepting, and Invoicing Solution, which have turned my business around. You know I need to be on top of my game to protect my empire. <laughs> yeah, if you know, you know. I too need to know what Kapo knows. Kakasa, be sure you are in charge of your business. Uganda Revenue Authority, developing Uganda together. Well, the problem with the world is that uh, those that have live humble. Those that don't are very extravagant. I visited a home last night, but tell you what, guys, people have made money. Try to make money, and then you'll follow that with humbleness, respect, and I'm sure you'll belong to the right hand of the God when our time comes. Good morning, and welcome again to UBC. My name is John Bunsen. I'm with the FIFA Women Elite League. FIFA Women Elite League. And we've just gone through a big game of football in which Ajax, Queens, the team that many of you know about, is about to seal its place into the next round after walloping St. Peter's that have conceded many goals that will be told to you by my colleague, partner in crime, Fifi, Fiona Pink in Amiro. Fifi, yes. you talked about collapse in the first half, yeah. and it's indeed happened. Are you, a, are you a, um, a, what, what do they call them? Uh, do, do you see the future? No, I don't see the future, uh, but I managed to analyze games. Uh, that is why probably we do that, uh, because of, uh, considering the last two games, that's what has happened to St. Peter's. And uh, the fact that the coach did not start his second best player, uh, Teddy, uh, I realized that uh, probably they needed. You know, when you don't start your best duo, uh, it means that you'll have problems in the second half. She came in after about 54, 55 minutes, but apparently she needed to warm up and there was already something being cooked up. Uh, so for me, uh, I think that Ajax Queens also had a must win game and they needed to go for a better approach. That is why the coach decided also uh, to uh, bring in uh, Nami Rembe, because Nami Rembe also changed things in the midfield. Akirol also uh, lifting up her game, and it's the reason as to why we have Namwenge reached a second hat-trick of the group after Nabonio, uh, who scored a hat-trick on her birthday, where Namuria we again thumping at St. Peter's we are talking about. But you didn't tell people the situation you talked about is the reason for my humbleness today. <laughs> <laughs> Very humble. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Times are in my vernacular they say mm. Guys visit the world. <laughs> guys guys are blessed. Anyway, so if you're talking football yeah. and yeah. a sport of that. By the way, you were right. We had an argument the other day about uh, how this particular uh, uh football elite league will be sorted out in case there are any event of uh, shared points. Yeah. Uh, in case the points are level at six all, goal then difference. goal difference first. Yeah. Goals for, goals against. Yeah. That is different from every other because yeah. I'm told that uh, every federation is given a chance to do it their own way. Yeah. As long as all that is put forward by, the, by FIFA is respected at some stage or another. Are followed because yeah. uh, case in point, I think it is La Liga, uh, Real Madrid, Atletico. It is when it comes down, it is the best league uh, that goes for head to head. But elsewhere, uh, they, go for the goals. Yeah, they go for the goal difference. That is why we argued and apparently it is good again to come and rectify that it's a goal difference because like I had my doubts on it, John Burns, but apparently it's good finding that out. And that means that Amuria yeah, are in a better... Yeah, took you guys through as yeah, we wind up this. Amuria are in a better position because apparently when you look at them they scored three uh then when they played uh, uh they scored three two uh, against uh, ajax queens then in their uh, second game uh, when uh, they score they scored eight and today they come they just have 13 goals after two games that means that today against uh vision, vision yeah. yeah that means that they will need a draw Oh, if they win the game, then they are already through. But apparently, you think that Ajax Queens also having now scored, uh, because if it's five today, they scored uh, uh, two in the first game, though lost. Yeah, that is seven, two. and mm. they won Margaret Nalubega. That zero. means uh, that it is eight goals. So uh, for me, I think they are in a better position to stand. But we'll have to pray that Amuria beats 
uh, vision or draws so that between them and Amuri are going through the quarterfinals. So you guys allow us to go to that break where we are going to accommodate the road to redemption. Football still continues and bigger things. The caucus of the NRM is down in Entebbe. It's going to be massive down there. When the time comes, we shall connect there. See you during the second game. It's Amuria against Vision. All to play for still in this group C of the four women in Light League.